Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel Hair List. You see, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe so that you guys are updated on the latest hair loss news. I wanted to apologize in advance. My voice might seem a little bit nasty because I'm a little bit sick. But if you guys are losing hair, look into something known as microneedling. Microneedling creates tiny wounds into the scalp that actually helps allow better blood flow. It increases collagen production and it also induces stem cells for hair growth. There's a lot of people that have seen really good hair growth as a result and studies do indicate that it's also, it works even better when used in conjunction with minoxidil 5%. So if you guys have any more questions or more information that you guys are seeking, check out the video in the description below. And also you guys can take a look at hairlicious.com to pick up all of your micro needling devices. If you guys have not done the poll, I actually did a poll on my YouTube channel asking guys exactly where you guys would go in terms of getting a hair transplant by country. So I listed the US, Turkey, um, Korea, and I think some other places. I think it's Mexico. But let me know guys because I actually have a pretty interesting video coming up soon and uh, I think it will be very helpful for you guys who are looking into finding a good hair transplant doctor by country. Thank you so much for all of your support in purchasing my shampoo. Um, it's all sold out and I should be getting some new uh, products coming up in about two, three weeks. I also have my topical application coming up in about a week or so, so please stay tuned on that and I will do a video and uh, keep you guys updated. So today I actually wanted to talk about a recent topic that's been discussed frequently on several hair loss forums and news and somebody actually reached out to me to go ahead and cover this as well. So UCLA researchers have discovered a new way to activate the stem cells in hair follicles that are actually responsible for hair growth. So the research was actually led by three UCLA faculty members. Um, their names are Heather Kristoff, an associate and professor of biological chemistry, William Lowry, a professor of molecular, cellular, and developmental biology, and Michael Jung, who is a professor of chemistry and biochemistry. So the three of them, they actually came across the discovery of a compound or compounds that in researching in mice, it actually enabled hair follicle stem cells to promote something known as lactate production and consequently it actually led to hair growth. So the compounds and technology have been exclusively licensed by UCLA to a pharmaceutical company known as Pelage, I believe, or Pelage Pharmaceuticals, which is a startup company by the three professors from UCLA. And the company plans on developing new technology to develop new drugs that promote hair for people suffering from androgenetic alopecia and other types of alopecias. So Pelage Pharmaceuticals also entered into an exclusive option with Allergen to acquire 100% of its stocks. And this means that Pelage is going to sell their entire company to Allergen if their hair growth compounds perform very well in their first clinical trials. And according to Pelage's website, they state that their technology is going to be significantly greater in efficacy in terms of current uh, treatments for hair loss, including minoxidil and finasteride. So, I think it's not going to be a total cure for hair loss since they're saying it's going to be better than minoxidil and finasteride, but you know, anything is always better than nothing. So let's take a look and see exactly how their hair growth compounds work. So the scientists found that the hair follicle stem cells produce a metabolite called pyruvate. And after production, the stem cells either send pyruvate into their mitochondria or it gets converted into a different metabolite known as lactate, which is known to activate the stem cells to produce more hair growth. Obviously the way to go is to prevent and pyruvate from going into the mitochondria and actually having that converted into lactate via the JAKSTAT pathway. The JAKSTAT pathway is a communication of information from chemical signals outside of the cells to the cell nucleus, resulting in the activation of genes through a process known as transcription. So there's two drugs that can actually do this. One is called RCDG423, which increases lactate production and another drug is called UK5099, which actually blocks pyruvate from entering into the mitochondria in hair follicle stem cells. RCDG423 is also known to help promote cartilage repair and it's also useful when it comes for treating arthritis. Now, this doesn't really come as a surprise because some research does show that there are certain arthritis medications and drugs that was known to promote hair growth. You see the companies in terms of its infancy right now, that's where they're at right now, and it's gonna be several years before of you know, just clinical trials and testing before anything gets launched, if it is indeed successful. But you know, it's always good to see you know, different types of news and their various developments to treating hair loss. 
We still don't know if this is going to be, like I said, a cure to hair loss, um, but the company does claim that it's better than minoxidil and finasteride, so we have something to look forward to. But you know, right now there's just so many other types of developments and you know, stem cell research that's currently in the progress that I think this is probably just gonna be at the bottom of the totem pole. But you know, it's, it's always good to see that there's different companies that are trying to find a better medication or cure for hair loss. So thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure to subscribe. Leave me some comments in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.